Hi everyone, welcome to today's uh, video. So in this video, we are going to show you how to make triple access chart in Excel. So as you can see in our image here that you want to do, we have the uh, access for one of the data on the right. And, and it seems that this is for the overall paid work hours. And then we have the line charts for the two sites, okay? uh, Laguna site and Cebu site. And you want to create a chart like this. Now, by default, Excel cannot create a chart with three axes because you can only have the left and the right axis. So in this case, we have two left axes. Therefore, this chart is technically not possible in Excel if you're not going to do some tricks. So the trick here, just to give you an idea, is that we're actually going to make two charts and we're going to superimpose them in the, onto each other and it will look as if they are one chart. So to start, we have to plot the first uh, chart. So first, let's get the data for the axis here, the months, and then we have the first site. And then we're also going to have the overall paid uh, work hours. So we have to get one from the left axis and the one from the right axis. We cannot start with these two sites here because they will be uh, both on the left axis. So I have to get one from the left and then the other one that is from the right. And then I'm going to insert our first chart, which in this case, I'll first use a line chart. It's easier to see what's happening when you have a line chart. And then we're going to change the blue one or the overall work paid hours into in an area chart. And at the same time, it should also be plotted on the secondary axis. So for that, we will right click on the line chart and then we'll change the series chart type. And then from here, we have the option to change what kind of chart each of the series will be represented as. So the overall paid work hours will be represented as an area chart. And we will transfer that onto the secondary axis. So creating something like this. So click OK. And uh, we're also going to make the area chart a bit lighter, just like in the image. So we're going to change the fill color into something light. Okay. Uh, we'll also change the title. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when you want, when you already have the second chart, the one for the Cebu site, you want your main chart to be already in its final form. So you do not uh, do some changes on both charts at the same time. So you want this to be already the last version. And in the image, I will not have a legend. And now we have our first chart. And it's now time to create the second chart. So for the second chart, you actually simply have to highlight again the uh, column for the axis and then the Cebu site. However, one thing that you have to do okay, is you have to insert an extra row right under the label and right before the first row of data. And the reason for that is because when we superimpose the chart onto each other, the green one, the green line here, the green axis is actually offset a little bit to the left. In order to give way to the blue axis, okay, the one here, the second one. So in order to create this two axis, one of them should adjust okay, with just one, um, one cell. And maybe put something here like an X so that something is holding this row as a valuable row. Otherwise, Excel will not consider this as something valuable and that row will disappear. So now I will highlight from A1 to the last uh, row of data and then use the control key to highlight the rest. And now we're going to insert a line chart for this one. 
And now we have the second trial. So before you um, superimpose this, you have to make sure again that everything here is finalized. So I'll format data series and double check if there are any um, settings that you need to change. For example, for this line chart, I will change it to a smoothed line so that it's not crooked okay, as the other one, which means that I also have to do the same here. But for this chart, since this is the one that will superimpose on the other chart, I will have to do some changes. I don't need the title for this one. I also don't need the grid lines. Now for the line chart, I will format it so that it's also smoothed lines. So you see how I'm making them uh, almost the same. I'm also going to change the color. And then the next one is, I don't also need the axis here. So I mean the one below. So I will remove the horizontal axis. And on the other hand here, I also have to make sure that the values that I have will align. So I will format this axis to be um, matching color with its corresponding plot. Same with this one. Okay. And I also want to put some tick marks Okay, for this the format axis. So I'll go to tick marks. And I will put it outside like that. So you saw what happened. So you will have those small lines, tick marks. Okay, which means that I also have to do it here. So I have to go to the second one and make the tick marks show up. Okay, for the major type. It's also outside. We'll also change the color of the axis uh, titles for the second chart so that when you put superimpose them together it's going to be easy to see which axis which line belongs to each other so now we have our two charts we're ready to combine them so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove that border that shows up okay on the first chart and also here for the second chart borders can you know make it look awkward so i'm going to format the fault area no line okay finally for the chart that will uh, superimpose on the other chart we have to change its fill color to no fill as well so only the axis and the line is visible so now we're ready to put this over our chart and you see the effect of having uh, an extra row for that one so it sort of like it creates that gap that will allow the blue axis to pop out from the back make sure that your values are aligned so january to december in this case should be align to each other as good as you can as best as you can you may want to zoom in so that you can easily drag the elements okay make sure as well that your um, horizontal axes are right beside each other so 250 200 150 150 and 0 are all right beside each other and now we have our triple axis chart the rest is really just a matter of aesthetics. So for example, I will add a box that will hold all of them together. So I'll with a white fill, and then I will send them to the back. And there you have it. We now have our um, triple axis chart. Yes, it looks as if it's cheating, but unfortunately, you really have to do that. Otherwise, Excel cannot, cannot do that for you. Now, for the sake of the legend, you simply have to create a legend for this because remember, these are two charts. So the legend will not really reflect properly. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.